What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you what is inside a boogie board. So I got this boogie board for free. Turns out it doesn't work. So what do I do with devices that are not working? I tear them apart, see what parts I can salvage or spare. But most of all, I see how they work. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today with this boogie board. Let's get started. Of course, the main thing I will be using today is a knife. So, let's start by cutting around the edges. See that little crease right there? Let's start by cutting around that to see if we can easily remove the screen. To show you guys this is not working, I'm going to press the button. It doesn't erase, right? Still stays green. Okay. not coming off as easily as I thought with a knife so I'm going to bring in a hairdryer so that I can melt the glue and then easily pull it off using a knife so let's get started disassembled and we're able to efficiently access the inside of the boogie board let's take a look at how and why everything works so let's take this down layer by layer right here is the plastic screen um, that is used more for display and so that you're not touching this gross inside right here okay so right on the top here there's the components so right here is the button that you press to erase it right here is where your battery let me see if I can get that right here is where your battery goes okay and then um so this screen is obviously an LCD screen so how does an LCD screen work Trust me, I'm no expert on this topic, but I know enough to explain to you how one could work. So, this LCD screen is pressure sensitive, so you can draw by pressing it. And in order to re erase it, when the battery's in and the button is pressed, it sends an electromagnetic magnetic field to the screen which erases it and sends it back to square one, which is a black greenish screen. And then once again, you can draw on it, erase it. So it's a very simple concept and it's a very great concept um, for what I think. So far, I haven't really found any good uses for these components, but I'll think of one someday probably. And when I do, I'll post a video on how I use them. But until then, thank you for watching my disassembly of the boogie board and teaching you a little bit of how it works. Um, please comment, subscribe, like down below. 
I've been currently doing a lot of videos on the Pixel phone. Please watch those. Those are pretty cool. And until then, thank you. I'll see you again.